All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. I am Mike Katrobus, the in-ring announcer and your host this evening. On April 15th at the Sanga Center in Lowell, Massachusetts, two of New England's top lightweight fighters will engage in battle for the GFL title. John Benoit and Matt Bassett. But first, right here, right now, they're gonna come face to face. Good evening, gentlemen. Now, let me ask you a simple question. What was it like to have uh, GFL come down to Hartford and follow you around a little while to create the upcoming episode of The Life? Uh, it was great. The GFL guys were great. Um, Scott's a really cool guy, easy to work with. Um, I, great, great experience. Great, excellent. John, what are you doing to train differently for this fight than you have with fights in the past? Uh, for this fight, we're mixing it up a little bit. We're training down at Sitio Tong. Uh, I'm training with a lot of the best guys in the area. Uh, I'm training with all the, the top guys in my weight class, training with Campbell, um, you know, and, and we're going hard, you know, two or three days a week, and uh, we're going to be going hard right up to the fight. Matt, how excited are you to be fighting at the Sanga Center with Lowell? Um, big crowd means a lot more excitement, and I'm a big fan of excitement. I like to draw a crowd. Let's hope you do. John, what does it mean to be the GFL lightweight champion? <clears throat> um, to be the GFL lightweight champion, I mean, it's awesome. It, it means that um, pretty much I'm the, I'm the best there is, um, you know, and, and you have to go out there and prove yourself, and all the best fighters want to fight you. Sometimes you get guys coming in thinking they deserve a title shot. You know, you got to put them in their place and prove them wrong. On January 6th, Matt wrote on the New England MMA log, uh, Northeast MMA log, I wanted to fight Benoit for a while, but we all know that that ended tragically. As of now, I have no one I'm calling out, although I think I can make an entertaining fight with anyone. Now, John, do you think Matt was sincere about that comment, or was he actually calling you out? He threw my name out there. I mean, no, I don't think he was sincere. I think he was calling me out. He put my name in there. Now, why'd you jump on the comment so fast? Um, well, a while ago, before even all that happened, he had said something else on another thread, and, and I didn't really like Matt anyways. I figured he didn't like me. So I just kind of went on it. So were you calling him out? Absolutely not. Uh, I was responding to a previous um, post. Somebody was talking about um, a different fighter, Damien Trites. And I said Damien and I are on good terms. Uh, I wouldn't really call him out, but if he wanted to fight, that's great. Uh, we'd make an exciting fight, et cetera. And uh, I legitimately felt bad for his situation. And uh, I definitely wasn't calling him out. Also on that same thread, John said, Bissette, I would fight you not, uh, I would fight you just at a catch weight. You were a baby and said, no thanks. For the record, I would love to punch you in the face. Then you responded, whoa, 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 you fight at 155, I fight at 155, your title is at 155, my title is at 155. Why did you need to fight at a catch weight? For one, I hope it wasn't so you could just avoid fighting for the title. John, were you trying to avoid fighting for your title? No, at the time I was lifting again, I got pretty heavy. Um, I didn't want to cut all the weight. Um, now that I'm older, the weight doesn't come off as easy. Um, but I don't mind cutting the weight now to beat him up. Do you believe that to be true? No, I'm 27, by the way. I'm 26, bro. OK, I cut weight for way, way more years than you probably. That's fine. That's fine. I Sick cut of cutting weight. OK. You want to defend your belt? You want to be one of the best? You're going to have to prove it. Watch. OK. That's now, why I'm here. Now, with Prove this going on, now obviously the intensity, nobody's, nobody's uh, oblivious to the uh, intensity between the two of you. Let me ask you a simple question. Why don't you like him? Is it, is it simply because of the fight coming up, or is there something else uh, that you don't like him for? I held no animosity towards him. I kind of thought he was a tool. Um, but, you know, I, I, I didn't really know him. Uh, but he, he just looked like one of those guys who was kind of bully, bully the other people around with his size and strength, and uh, don't like bullies. John, at this point in your career, you've accomplished everything you could regionally. You, you claim to be retiring following this bout. I mean, is there, is there anything else you would have liked to do before leaving the sport? I would have liked to shot in a big show, like Strike Force or UFC, but um, no, I think I've accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish. Now, how would you like the local scene to remember you for what you've contributed to the sport? Um, you know, you like to be remembered in, in, 
to a high standard. You know, I want people to think, you know, oh, he was a good fighter. He was a tough guy. You know, he was he was a dangerous kid. You know, he he had some real talent. Now, why come out of retirement? Why Matt for the final fight? Matt told me on that same thread you were just talking about, how about I pound your wife in the street? I'd like to shut his mouth. How much, how, how much can he talk with his jaw wide shut? Not a lot. Can to respond? You can't really talk with your jaw wide shut. There you go. Uh, it was just something spur of the moment. Don't know his wife. Don't really spur care of the moment. Him. Don't really care to know his wife. And uh, got you to fight. You don't know my wife. I mean, no, I it just takes a, 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 a different kind of man. And now you want it, you're supposed to be the champ. If you beat me, you're going to be the champ. That's the attitude a champion has. Talk shit about somebody's wife. I could have came out and said anything about, I, had, I don't know you and you don't know me, but you go out and say stuff about my wife. I could have came out and said something about you having leukemia. I could have said, why didn't your mother get an abortion? Save herself some trouble. You didn't know that. I could have said anything. One. I know you it know now, but I don't say and stuff two, like you that. you had a full page because I'm a, I, about me. I got some fucking class, pal. I got some class. Yeah, you have plenty of class. Plenty of it. It shows, it shows, definitely shows, bro. Now, Matt, you once stated in a local thread that when ESPN ranks athletes, they don't just put it out there for people to decide, they ask people in the know to help them rank. Well, we interviewed a lot of people that we, you know, that are in the know in this business for uh, the episode of The Life. Now, their consensus was John Benoit is too big, too strong, too skilled, and way too experienced for Matt Bissett right now in his career. Why do you seem to be the consummate underdog, and what are your biggest advantages over John? Uh, I seem to be the consummate underdog because I am. I'm the smaller guy uh, fighting bigger guys. I could have fought 145 my first eight fights. Now I'm walking around uh, 12 pounds heavier, and uh, I'll make a pretty decent-sized 155-er. Now, John, a lot of taunting uh, came out of the thread as we've been talking about the whole night, and you've obviously brought up the comment that he made. Why, again, does this seem more like a personal war than an MMA fight? Uh, for what he said. That's it? Just the one comment is done? There's nothing else hidden that we don't know about? No, nothing else hidden. Nothing. I had no problems with Matt before this. Now, on that, Matt, your coach said he respects John as a fighter, but not as a person. Are those your feelings as well? Yes, uh, but to a certain extent. I don't know the guy, he just comes off um, pretty ridiculous. Um, my coach knows me, he knows me to be a very respectful person and uh, a, a people person. And uh, anybody who doesn't see that side of me, obviously, he's gonna back me up, so. Now the big question, John, how do you beat Matt Is there Any way I want. If I don't knock him out, I'll submit him. Matt? How, do you beat How does he beat me? How do you oh, beat okay. John? Um, I, I feel like I'm better than him everywhere. Everywhere. I, I could do whatever I want to. He might be bigger and stronger, but you know, he's going to feel my strength. And he's going to go, oh, I wasn't ready for this. Now, this seems to be all about the Guaranteed. title. This seems to be all about Guaranteed. shutting each other's mouths up, supposedly. So why does it have to be a winner take all? What, what made you come to that? Because of what he said, I want to embarrass him. I want him to come out there. If I had it my way, I'd take his ticket sales, I'd take his hotel room for the night, I'd take his car. I mean, I don't want him to have anything. I want him to be broken, bloody, and just cr crawl out of the cage. I, it's, this is just, for me, it's, it's now just proving a point. Now, you didn't bat an eyelash when he said that. You jumped right on it. You, you know, talked with your coach first, obviously, to make sure everything was cool, but you were ready to jump right on it. You still feel that confident about it? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, my first several fights, I really didn't take a paycheck at all. Um, just from what I made from ticket sales, didn't take a paycheck, just like fighting. Still like fighting. I would fight him for free, and that's what I'm doing right now. If I win, I get money. If I lose, I get nothing. What does he have to gain by fighting you? A win. That's it. Same thing, same thing with me. Respect and a win. A win means everything to me. It doesn't matter who's in front of me. A win means everything to me. So no title, no money, wouldn't matter. You'd still take this fight? Yeah. Now, back in January, you were all over the, the thread. You guys were talking back and forth and going absolutely crazy. The past couple months, not really heard anything. Why not? I've been training. Not enough time to say anything? My, my mind is elsewhere. Uh, I don't really care about the threads right now. I'm caring about uh, what I'm eating, how I'm training, who's helping me out day in and day out, and if I'm doing things right, and I'm finally doing things right. I want to go back again to the retirement thing. You're coming out of retirement for this fight, your first and only title defense against a man only, not even for because of the title, not because of money, just because of a personal vendetta. 
Um, it wasn't have anything to do with people saying you might have retired too soon? Did that weigh anything on you? Nobody said that to me, that I retired too soon. And I don't have to make it okay with anybody to retire. It's, I, I'm the one in there fighting. I'm the one doing all the work. I can retire whenever I want. I do this for fun. I have a real job. I mean, I get paid. This is just, this is side money for me. I take this as plain money for me. I just like doing it. It's just fun for me. Matt, your prediction. When, how it's gonna end. Um, choke, second round. John? I think he barely gets out of the first. I'd like to keep him in there to, to watch first. him in the I second. I going to be quick. Now you're changing your mind. Finish him in the third. Third round. Matt, John compared himself to a large amusement park ride in the hype video. So now after four months of training, I gotta ask, you ready for the ride? <laughs> uh, I thought that was really funny, by the way. That was pretty funny. Um, I, I don't want to talk about that analogy because I got plenty to say about that, but I'm not going to add to it. You just better be ready, man. I know you're ready physically, but are you ready mentally? John, oh, you I hope my mind can handle another win. You got to be ready for that, bro. Final words. It's a pleasure. Matt, any final words to say to him? I've said enough, I think. Yeah, you did. Folks, the GFL lightweight title will be on the line April 15th at the Songus Center. Visit GFLMMA.com or the Songus Center box office for details. It's going to be an amazing battle. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks. Oh, Big shots from the champ. Well, I guess the hype is real. No That's it! That's it! It's all over! Big slam!